Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make sea moss gel by using sea moss, dry sea moss, but you have to wash it first and to get it like this. I left, uh, I'm going to leave a video showing you how to clean your sea moss the correct way. Please click on the link above, you see that video. Okay, so I'll give you a brief description of what sea moss is good for. Sea moss can cure these skin diseases. It can cure, um, it can help you with um, produce um, thorough hormones. It can help you to lose weight. It also help you can cure ulcer. It also can fight fungal fungal infections, which is awesome. It also improves thoral function and strengthen your bones. So sea moss has none two minerals. And this is only a video showing you how to you make the sea moss gel. You can use chinat gels to make your to um to fit your to do your ma facial mask. Can use sea moss for gel to for your hair treatment, for your skin care, for your um, weight loss diet. And I'm going to show you how to make the gel first and foremost. So I bought the sea moss. Okay. And this is the sea moss I have. And this is what I did to get it like that. I soak it in water overnight. So I'm going to put it in the blender with some distilled waters and blend it for a few minutes. So you're going to blend it for a few minutes. This is a bit video just to show you how to make my sea moss gel. Okay, and once again, guys, don't forget to like this video. If you like this video, subscribe, share, and like as well. And try this as well, because this is very, very, very good for your overall beans, the health, your health, your weight loss journey, your skincare, and your hair growth. So I'm blending this for like a few minutes and I use um, a cup of sea moth and half a cup of water, distilled waters. It's very important to make sure you use distilled waters for your sea moth gel. Very important to be, be advised of that. So once it's blended, you can put it into a jar and put it in your freezer. 